Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. Uh, welcome back. If you're if you've been here before, nice to see you. If you're new, uh, come on, sit down, stay a while. Um, in this video, we're gonna make this uh, cool looking vintage uh, book cover, and we're gonna do it with these photos. Uh, links are in the description. So there's just uh, four uh, different things we're gonna use. We're gonna use this gold texture here. We're gonna use this ornament frame here. We're gonna use this leather texture, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this or not, but this this teared paper, this tear paper here. Might use it, might not. Um, now let's get the setup started here. So let's start from the beginning. I always like to reset my studio to default in case you're following along and you want your screen to look like my screen. So if you wanna do that, you can go up to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. Now the document size I have here, uh, if you go up to File, New, these are my settings. So I have my page width at 1600 and my page height at 2560 and the units that I'm using, I got pixels selected. So I've already got this loaded, but these are my settings if you wanna match it. Anything that looks in sort of a book book uh, format, kind of a portrait uh, style. Uh, mine's already created, so I'm just gonna hit cancel here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna turn all these things off. Now, if you don't know how to bring these pictures into Affinity, what you're gonna do is go to the description, download all the photos, and then once you have this document open and ready, you're gonna go up to File, Place, and then it's gonna ask you, okay, where are the photos? You're gonna to go to your computer where you downloaded them and just bring them all into Affinity. So once you got them all in here, what I'm gonna do is turn them off. I'm gonna use this little thing here to toggle the visibility off and just start with a blank canvas. And the first thing we're gonna do is create a background that we can work with. Um, so to do that, we're gonna go up to Layer, New Fill Layer, and up here in the Color tab, up to my right here, I'm gonna drag my fill all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna change the color. I want like a red sort of burgundy um, uh, background because you know, an old book, kind of a maroony burgundy type thing. But we can change this after, but I'm gonna just start with something like this. So mess around, find something you like, but I'm starting with this one. Now that I have my fill color down here at the bottom, I'm gonna turn on this leather uh, texture and I'm gonna drag it out so it goes bigger than the, um, just so it fills the whole canvas here. Now, now that I have my leather selected, I'm gonna change the blend mode so it'll blend with the layer below it. If you don't know anything about blend modes, guess who's got a video? I do. I'm gonna link it below, pick up some knowledge there, go, go learn that one, it's awesome. Uh, pretty cool what you can do with blend modes. So, I got leather selected. I'm gonna go up to my blend modes right here. I'm just gonna find a blend mode that works. I want it to bleed through so they kind of uh, meet. Overlay, yep, I'm gonna go with overlay on this one. So now I've got my uh, fill below and I've got my leather above it, and the leather is now blending into the color below. So we got this kind of cool cool texture. All right, cool. The next thing we're gonna do is turn on this uh, ornaments thing, and I want this to frame the book. So I'm gonna pull this out like this. Uh, we'll adjust it once we change the blend mode. Also gonna change the blend mode on this one, so we just get these ornaments and we get rid of the white part. So I got my ornaments selected. I'm going up to my blend modes, and I'm just gonna find one that works. And I think I'm just gonna go with multiply. So I got multiply selected. And I think that looks pretty good. We'll mess with this again later, but now we've got our solid fill on the bottom, our leather on top bleeding through, and then we have our ornaments on top as well, which is also bleeding through. So this looks pretty good so far. Next thing we're gonna do is add some text. So I'm gonna go over to my text tool here, and I'm gonna pick artistic text tool. And I'm gonna call this book alone. Now I already have this text selected, so, um, cause I wanted an old style sort of font. So, um, what you can do is if you don't have this font installed, this one's called liberal hand. I think I downloaded it somewhere. Or it came in a font pack. What I would do is find an old style font. There's ser uh, serif fonts and sans serif fonts. Um, but find an old font, um, an old style looking font instead of, you know, this would be a new style font here. This, these are kind of newer, um, something that has some legs on it. Um, like this font here, but I'm gonna go with liberal hand. There's no wrong answer here, just something that looks fitting. Uh, so I've got this alone text in here. This looks okay, but it looks too bright and too new. It doesn't belong on the cover. So this is where our gold texture comes in. I'm gonna turn on the gold texture. I'm just gonna put it over top of my text or behind my text, doesn't matter, as long as it's over top of it, um, above it or below it, that's fine. And I'm gonna take my gold texture right here in my layers panel. I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna drag it on top of the text um, here, so it kind of uh, clips inside of it. Okay, cool, so now I have this gold text inside this text, gold texture inside the text. Now it looks um, still a bit too bright, so I'll probably go click on my text here. 
You can see my text is the parent layer. The gold texture is my child layer. I'm gonna click on the gold here. I'm gonna go up to my opacity here. It's gonna bring it down a bit so it's not so strong. So this would be nothing. This would be some of it. This I'll bring up to maybe like, I don't want it fully, or maybe like uh, 85%. Okay, so now we have some text. And then I'm just going to add an author name at the bottom. And who, who better than Design Method as the author of this lovely uh, book? I'm going to bring this down here and I'll maybe center that like this. Maybe like that. That's cool. I'll leave that white, but I'll mess with that. Okay, so now we've got all this stuff laid out. It looks pretty good. I still want to beat this cover up a bit and change it a bit so it looks more worn. Um, some of it looks authentic, some of it doesn't. So let's start with... Um, the cover itself. I'm going to go to the leather texture. I'm going to click on it my layers panel here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the burn tool. Um, you can use O on your keyboard, but this burn brush tool, I'm going to click on that. And this works just like a paintbrush. So up here in the top left, your settings, so your opacity, which is your transparency, your flow, your hardness. I also have a, a video on paintbrushes. If you don't know about those, uh, go check that out. It's It'll help you. It'll help you. Go check it out. Um, so as strong as this transparency is, is as strong as the burn will be. So I'm going to turn it down to like 60 cause I don't want it to be totally black. I just want it to look somewhat burnt and I'm just going to burn the edges a bit here cause I want it to look a bit worn. The edges of a book are usually worn. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy, but I want it to look worn. I'm going to wear some of it in here as well. Just some random spots. So it looks darker. Maybe something like maybe something like that, just so it's a bit more worn. Um, and if I don't like this, um, I can always change it. Uh, I'm going to keep it like this for now. And the text itself, I'm going to click on the text and the opacity up in my top of my layers panel. I might bring it down a little bit, maybe 75 works. And so now we got that. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go to my author name down here, and I'm also going to bring the opacity down a little bit, just so it looks worn. And I'm going to do a couple other things here. So let's do this. <clears throat> this ornament section looks pretty solid still. There's no, there's no wear and tear on it. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to click on the ornaments in our layers panel here. And what I'm going to do is put a mask on this. Uh, so I'm going to go down to my mask button here and I'm just going to click mask. Now, if you don't know about masks, guess who's got a video? Oh yeah, I do. So go check that out because you'll learn everything you need to know about masks, which take your editing to another level. So I got my mask here. I got my mask selected. I'm going to take out my paintbrush. Um, now I have this random paintbrush selected. Any paintbrush will work. And I'm going to paint in black because I want to erase part of this um, ornament thing, make it look faded. So I'm just going to click in certain spots and just sort of fade out sections of this ornament because I want it to look worn. Maybe the corners because people were touching them. But just random spots here so it doesn't look so strong. And I think that's a little better. Just breaks it up a little bit and it makes it look a little more worn. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's do that. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm also going to do the same thing for the text. So it's not, uh, <clears throat> it's not perfect. So I've got my text selected here. I'm going to put a mask on it at the bottom of my layers panel. I'm going to pick mask. You'll see my mask appears uh, underneath the text here. And same thing, I'm going to take my paintbrush out over here and painting in black. I'm just going to fade. I'll turn this down the opacity a bit because I don't want this too crazy. And I'm just going to fade certain parts of this text so it looks worn as well. Some more so than others, but so it's still readable. All right, so I think that looks a little better. I think I would like to bring the opacity of this text down a little bit still, maybe. Maybe something like that. And uh, I'm gonna try this tear. If it doesn't work, well, it doesn't work. So let me turn this on. I got this white piece of paper, this tear. It's a PNG file, so it's there's no background. And maybe I can make the corner look a little bit worn, and maybe I can't. Let's just try it and see. Uh, what makes the most sense here? Maybe something like this. Okay, so I'm going to put this tear on here. We'll see if, what this does. This may not work. Uh, put this on here and I'm going to change again the blend mode on this one and I'm going to change it to, let's see what looks right. <clears throat> it kind of looks okay actually. Soft light looks okay. 
what else we got? What's hue? Hue is black. Let's see if I bring the opacity down. Yeah, that's okay. So I've selected hue and I'm just bringing the opacity down a little bit. This looks more like a, a wear mark than a, um, than a tear, but that's okay. That's cool. Maybe I'll put it like this. This will work. Just a bit of a just a bit of wear and tear there. <clears throat> Maybe I can actually duplicate this and throw it somewhere else. And maybe I can't. Maybe something like this. Let's, yeah, let's do that. All right, so this is our old book cover. Um, I could always uh, use the burn tool and burn it up a bit more. I could use masks to bring things back or fade them out. But this is our vintage book cover. I hope uh, this video was helpful. Um, I'll throw this on a mock-up so you can see what it looks like. But if this video was helpful to you, or if you enjoyed it at all, can you just do me a big favor? And if you can just tap, 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 that like button. Uh, I'd love you forever, which, you know, who can say that, right? Um, and if you like the video, uh, you know what? Join the gang. Join the design method gang. Uh, not an actual gang. And uh, stay tuned because I got more coming. If you got any comments, leave them below and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. Thanks.